Hi, I'm Colleen, Colleen Gillies. I'm 87, just turned 87, and I have lived in the city of Charles Turr all my life. Welcome to my house. Two years ago, I received a letter from the Australian government saying I had been nominated for an Order of Australia medal, which I felt really humiliated and that I didn't deserve it. And you have a choice of accepting it or not. Um, I felt I had to accept it on behalf of other volunteers, on behalf of my husband, who'd done a lot of volunteer work too. It was such an honour uh, to receive that. Where I've been doing the volunteer work at Ronald McDonald House, I was up there one day, the CEO came in and she said, we just started to chat and she said, oh, I've been to a, a meeting about our next fundraising that we're doing. And I said, oh, what are, we going, what are you going to do? And she said, oh, we're going to abseil down the Westpac building. And quick as a flash, for some reason, I just said, oh, I can do that. And she said, yeah, I knew you'd say that, Colleen. Now I've got to do it. I was 83 at the time. Because of the families that I'd met at the house, I thought, you have got three healthy boys, you've got eight healthy grandchildren, you've been blessed. And the least you can do is put yourself out and do something you're petrified of doing. Within two weeks, we had 100 people all going to do the abseiling. So we had to close the books. I thought, well, I can't get out of it now. I have a wonderful neighbour next door, he's 94, and she's lived here for 26 years. And it's just a lovely little community. She always says I'm trouble, but I'm not, am I? No, I tell her to keep out of trouble when she leaves here, but Colleen's settled in very well. She's the last person we had to come here, and... Um, um, I might be the first to go. Well, I hope not. <laughs> If you live in the West, you tend to stay in the West. 